Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on today's ESA webinar, Cellular Technology, POTS Replacements, and Sunset Solutions. Today, we're joined by NAPCO experts who will dive into Starlink LTE Communicators, a low-cost universal cellular solution for replacing vanishing POTS lines and replacing sunsetting 3G and CDMA alarm radios. We'll explore Starlink Fire for commercial fire, Starlink Intrusion, Starlink Connect for connected home and business applications with SMS notifications and optional smart home Z-Wave control, and Starlink Connect DL with native downloading. Starlink offers you the choice of AT&T or Verizon LTE networks, saves time and equipment and labor costs. Starlink boasts easy installations and are pre-activated out of the box, but I'll let our expert get into that in just a moment. I'm Jillian Bateman, ESA's Chief Development Officer, and I'll be facilitating our discussion today. Before we dive in, I do have some tips for those of you joining us on your first ESA webinar. All callers will be muted for the duration of this webinar, but that doesn't mean we don't want to hear from you. At any time during the presentation today, please pose your questions by clicking the Q&A icon at the bottom of your control panel. There's no need to save these questions until the end of the presentation. If something pops up at any point, go ahead and ask, and we'll ensure that we save some time today to address all your questions with our expert. We'll also be recording today's webinar, so you can watch the on-demand video at your leisure and share it with your colleagues. Just give us until tomorrow to get the video hosted on the ESA site. No need to go exploring. We'll send you an email with the link thanking you for attending today. We at ESA realize your time is valuable and we appreciate you spending some of that time with us today. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our presenter, Ziad Ghassani. Z is a national trainer for NAPCO. He is ESA National Training School certified and ESA level one, 2A and 2B. He has a rich background in all aspects for security, beginning as an installation manager and director of tech support at West Tech and continuing in various technical operations and management positions in the industry. Z rose to trainer of a biometric access control company before joining the NAPCO team to implement its nationwide training program, including security, life safety, connected home, and communications technologies trainings in the field and online. Z attended UCLA, is EMT and CPR instructor certified, and is the past president of his local fire police. In addition to NAPCO being an ESA strategic partner company, Z himself is a member of both NFPA and ASSES. Z, I'll let you take it from here. Jillian, thank you. What an introduction. I didn't know you were going to do that. I greatly appreciate it. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us here this afternoon. We have many thanks to our partners at ESA and Jillian for that big introduction. Um, I know everybody's busy and thanks for taking the time to be in here. We'll try and make it as quick as possible. Uh, today's subject is really a hot subject and uh, it is on the mind of every security and fire dealer out there. Uh, obviously, if we do monitoring, we do installation, we, uh, we, we care about life safety and uh, protection of property. Uh, this subject is really hot. Uh, no more POTS line. So the Sunset Solution, Starlink comes in a big play. It started a little over eight years ago from NAPCO Security. And uh, now I'm going on almost 10 years with NAPCO. I've seen the transition and I've seen how well the transition has taken a place and how much dealers are actually interested in the Starlink radio. So we're gonna cover a lot of stuff in here today. And as Jillian mentioned, um, I'm going to try and we will answer everybody's question and hopefully your answers are actually in here. So Starlink Radio, what is it? What is the solution, um, you know, for our POTS line today? And that's where it is. That's where it comes in handy. Um, I, I was shocked actually, but I am uh, not amazed that it is actually the new leader in cellular alarm communication, especially when it comes down to fire and life safety. 
we have, we have made tremendous improvements out on our communication on our part, delivering the new opportunities and more RMR for our dealers as well. Our Starlink radio is universal. It actually um, operates on both networks, AT&T and Verizon, with a choice of an LTE networks. It is a very low cost solution for today's replacement of POTS line or your existing 2G or 3G network radio. So we're gonna get into these networks and their sunset dates here in a couple of minutes. We're gonna create a bunch of opportunities for our dealers opportunity to grow in terms of commercial fire. And that's where a lot of the recurrent revenue comes from in our industry today. And also as well as the intrusion and the connected home or business services. Let's not forget about that. And again, we started with that way back then. Millions of fire control panels across the country today are still on POTS line, dual phone lines, or maybe they are on 2G networks currently. Those need to be upgraded pretty soon. There's millions of intrusion control panels out there, but they're still on POTS line, or maybe also on 2G, or maybe on cable phones, or modem phones, or network phones. But sometimes the communication does not go through. So there is an opportunity for the dealers to actually look at the cellular solution and see what better way to communicate to your central station. With the Connect Radio, there's an estimated 15 to 17 million security systems out there that you can connect your Connect Radio to and offer home automation, SMS messages, notifications, whether it be your home, your vacation home, or your business, locally or remotely. It is an opportunity for every dealer to explore and make money. Let's talk a little bit more about the cellular communication and the sunset, and that's what we're here pretty much for today. 3G, CDMA, our sunsets are already in progress. What about 4G and 5G? What about LTE? I get asked that question a lot. Honestly, we started with this way back in the 2G days, and the more we put IoT stuff on our cellular carriers or our cellular towers, the less bandwidth there is. So 2G got full really fast. Then they figured, okay, we'll go to 3G at that point or CDMA at that point. And those are actually getting, you know, getting filled up really fast. The more stuff that we add on our wireless communication and transmission, the less band there is. 4G, 5G, and an LTE. That's where we are right now. And that's what the future is going to look like. Thanks to all the carriers that they keep advertising 5G on the TV, on radios, and your cellular phone store, everywhere you go, you're seeing 5G. Okay, when are we gonna get to 5G and what's LTE? Well, we've been meeting with the carriers on a regular basis. All of our, uh, all of our partners in the security industry have been meeting with them on a regular basis to get the answers, to get the solution. 3G and CDMA, there is a sunset date for it already. And that is in progress, as you can see. 4G, it's going to be there for a long time. And that's the backbone of the 5G. We call it LTE today because it's a long-term long evolution. And that's going to be there for a while. Certain, per, certain parts of the market today, the 3G and the CDMA networks are being taken down by the carriers. Well, if you're using a Starlink radio, you're in luck because you will know when it goes down. You get notified. We'll let you know that, hey, the carrier is taking the tower down or taking your network down. And they don't do it nationwide. They do it in, you know, in certain markets uh, across the country uh, sporadically. It happens. And when that does happen, we know, we know about it. We notify the dealers. We get them heads up. So that way they're prepared and they're ready but eventually the dates are coming. According to AT&T, the 3G network, looking at completion date by February 22nd, 2022. And for Verizon on the CDMA side, they're looking for December 31st, 2022. So does that mean you're okay today on a 3G and a CDMA? Uh, as long as the tower's up, I would say yes. But again, the carrier at their discretion, they come in and they can update. Could be a reason because of uh, bandwidth, 
demand, a disaster, or any of these things, uh, when they go into their towers and they're doing maintenance and they're gonna evaluate, hey, should we be upgrading this to, into an LTE network or a 5G network? 5G, LTE, and 4G, pretty much are all riding on the same backbone. They're pretty much the same. So 4G will be there along with 5G for a long period of time. And right now we're looking for LTE to be around till about 2033. Initially, they started at 2030, and now they expanded out to 2033. In all honesty, the big difference between the, the networks and the carriers, uh, AT&T um, has got a, like a smaller footprint across the nation than Verizon does. But when we started with 2G networks, the speed was very slow, the transmission uh, was very slow between uh, you know, devices or you know, communications. Then they decided to go into a 3G or a CDMA where the actual speed went up a little bit, okay? Gigabytes versus megabytes or versus kilobytes. And today with the 5G they're looking at or the LTE networks, they're looking at mega speed, okay? Megabytes in terms of speed. And again, these things are actually designed for devices that the consumer use a lot to share videos, to share games, to upload and download fast. But come to think of the alarm communication, is that really affecting us? Uh, Starlink network radios are actually run on a cave channel on the back end of their communication channels. It's not the same frequencies that you and I talk about. It's not the same frequencies that you and I share videos or text or you know, funny stuff or upload and download, surf the net, any of that. We're on the back end of their channel, on the data channel, because we transmit in first. And these bursts are really fast. Your transmission from your launch system to your knock is less than a quarter of a second long. So it's really fast, and it's not that big of a data package that goes in. So really, it's not going to affect us a lot. But the more they add to the network, the less band that they, they get, uh, the, the more changes they're going to do. And that's how the carrier functions. Their consumer is in their mind, and that's where they want to make their money from, pretty much. So LTE, it's going to be around for a long time. Long before they decided to go with LTE, we were in the talks with both of the carriers. We decided to go out and explore the market on the, eight, on the LTE side. We tested the, the country nationwide. I carried an LTE radio with me before LTE came about and started to be mandatory at that point, way before the sunset came up. Uh, everywhere I traveled, I've tested the LTE signals to find out and map out the country to see if there is actually LTE coverage and how well the coverage is starting to come about. So we were there testing that stuff before they even decided to come up on board with it. We finally did. And right now, I'm proud to say that we are the leader in terms of cellular communication. Starlink radio, especially our fire radio, is the number one selling cellular communicator across North America, across the US. I'll give you the top 10 reasons now on why the Starlink radio is really the, the choice, the new choice or the choice for certain dealers that I know that they swear by it and they use it religiously on every job. They have done all their upgrades. They crossed their T's and they dotted their I's way before the sunset date. So the number one, it is, it is universal. Our Starlink radio, when we went out, we built it. We want to build something that is uni universal and it's also backward compatible. So NAVCO is pretty popular about that. So there's no need for it to be listed anywhere. As long as your control panel communicates contact ID or for two format. When it comes down to fire, again, life safety is a primary thing here. When it comes down to fire, it can work on any 12 volt or 24 volt control panels. Again, universal. You can have it in either an ABS plastic enclosure or in a metal cabinet with a power supply in it, if that's what's required by your AJ. Depends on the market that you're in. And again, because we were so successful in actually building a, a, a very robust a communicator, that led us to be the number one communicator in terms of fire currently right now. You can order these units in either a salt path, strictly cellular, or you can order them in a dual path communications, which means there's IP on board, 
and is a cell as well on board. So you got IP with a cell backup, or you can use that same unit as a cell only, your choice. And again, it's an ideal replacement for your pots that don't even exist in certain parts of the country today as well. Full path or dual path on both networks, AT&T and Verizon. And everything we ship today is LTE by AT&T and Verizon. And as you can see on the, on the screen, all of our, you know, Starlink radios, they got these dual antennas, which we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes and why we have the dual antennas on board. Now, when it comes down to intrusion, think of how many intrusion systems are out there in the market, okay? Um, burglar alarms alone, how many of them are actually programmed still working on 4.2 format? Can your central station still get that information? Well, our Starlink radio can. We'll capture that communication and send it out to your central station. And if it is programmed for contact ID, the Starlink radio is just as happy as it can be as well. Full data, primary, reporting, or if you want to use it as a backup, you can use it as a backup. Highly recommend using it as a primary communicator. Why? Because sometimes your backup can actually deliver false information, false information to your Starlink radio. You want your communication to be a, a priority. You want your alarm signal to actually get to your central station. When it comes down to uploading and downloading, as I mentioned earlier, backward compatibility. We can actually upload and download any NAPCO Gemini control panel. Gemini series control panel from NAPCO is actually um, started back in the mid 90s to late 90s. Imagine that, I can use a cellular communicator today to upload and download a control panel that was built, manufactured or installed back in the 90s. Well, I don't remember those 90 days. I never thought I would be talking about a cellular communicator back then, but here we are. So we have developed a, the DL version of our Starlink Connect radio, just to be a strictly an uploading and downloading communicator as well as a monitor to monitor your phone line to monitor your control panel to the central station with the capability to upload and download a huge list of vista control panel from honeywell and your dsc power series control panel as well utilizing their native software so if you have a vista control panel out in the field and you're having issues uploading and downloading to that control panel through pots or any other way utilize one of the our starlink radios it's really secure, reliable, and fast. And you can use the Compass software for them. Or you can use the DLS on your DSC so, uh, control panel as well. Done it myself, and I know a lot of dealers that do it, and they love it. Expanding on that, we'll talk a little more coming up on our Connect Radio that gives you full features on these control panels as well. Now, mind you, as you can see on the screen, it says your Starlink Connect Radio, as low as a 995 net a month. We're going to talk about that here in a second as well and why this thing costs only 995 a month net. 995 as a unit net. Every unit that you actually purchase and you activate, there's a monthly service fee attached to it, which, which we also going to touch on here in a few minutes. Uh, the connected home and business, which is a little step above the download on that uh, Starlink radio, it gives you the remote capability of your security system, whether you be at home, your vacation home, your business, locally, remotely, you can actually remote in, check out on the alarm, arm disarm, get notifications, who disarmed, who armed, they didn't arm, who opened the door, maybe it's a business, that somebody leaves the back door open for a certain period of time. You wanna get notifications. It's an amazing unit with loaded features. It can also integrate with our iBridge video. And again, you can use it across the Gemini series platform, as well as a DSC power series platform and the Honeywell Vista platform. It'll also offer you remote services like your Z-Wave devices, um, you know, for thermostats, for locks, for lights, uh, the iBridge video. The notification features alone is worth a lot on this unit itself. And again, whether it be a home or a business, it's a great additional feature to a security system. And I've known a lot of dealers that actually, you, you know, 
standardize on this. There's almost 17 million security systems out there. Imagine the opportunity where you can make money offering these services. You don't have to upgrade their control panel. You can actually enhance their control panel by taking them off of their existing POS line or maybe their modem line or their digital phones if you want and install one of those connected uh, radios on our services. It's the easiest radio to install, the easiest unit, under 15 minutes. And again, they can go anywhere from free all the way up to $60. What does that mean, Z? What is free? How do I get a unit for free? A lot of people say there's nothing for free. Well, here's how we do it. You know, you're absolutely right, but guess what? Everybody in this, we're, do, we're, we're in this to, to make money, recurring revenue, right? So you save $100 on each unit you activate and you put online. There's only four steps. Any of these units you purchase, it doesn't matter if it's a fire, intrusion, connected home, or download unit. Um, you activate the unit, you buy it from your dealer, you get it online. And once you're done, you go into our website and there's a form on our website. You complete the form, you send it to us, we open it up once we get that, we look at the unit, we make sure it is actually online, and you're communicating um, with no issues, no problems, uh, we'll apply $100 towards your monthly service fee of that unit. And again, uh, $100 on every unit. It doesn't matter whether it's a brand new installation, replacement of an old POTS line, replacement of somebody else's radio, whether it's active or not, we're gonna give you $100 every time you activate one of these units. What a deal, huh? So you pay for a radio for an example, 100 bucks, we're gonna give you $100. Does that make it like free? Kinda, yeah. I'll explain it a little more here in a second. Also, NAPCO offers a couple of uh, systems out there that do have Starlink radios built in, like our Firelink control panel and our iSecure systems. Those two systems have a Starlink radio built in. Firelink has got a, uh, a SoulPath cellular communicator by Verizon and AT&T built into that unit. So guess what? You buy a Firelink control panel as a sprinkler supervisory system, for an example. As soon as you activate it, you install it, you got $100 towards the monthly service fee of that unit. Or you buy an iSecure system, for an example, one of our latest technologies that we just released earlier this year, completely wireless system with a cellular Starlink Connect radio built in. You activate it, you put it online, you got $100 towards the monthly service fee of that unit. How does that come up or total out to be a free unit? Our intrusion radio normally sells for $99.95. Your $100 rebate towards that unit makes it free. But in reality, what it does, it allows you to bill your customer and it'll also allow you to be billed freely from NAPCO for 18 months. Because I'll give you an example. Let's say the monthly service fee on this unit right here on your screen is $5 a month. $100 applies towards that $5. It's like 18 months are free of service for you. In the meantime, what do we charge the customer for monitoring a month? Remember, you're saving the client the fee on their POTS line as well. So they're saving money, you're making money. We're gonna talk about making money here in a couple of minutes as well. And that's how it equates to free. Now, when it comes down to a fire unit or, the, you know, one of those you have listed fire communicators, it is not $99.95. It's usually about $160 bucks or maybe $140 bucks on the intrusion, on the connect radio, maybe $130. Still, $100 applied stores. The monthly service fee of that unit makes your payback on the unit a lot faster you're still making money and you're saving your customer money as well. At the end of the day, that's what we're in this for, is return revenue. We need to make sure we retain it and we keep it. All of our Starlink radios are actually unique because they power up from your control panel. Very low current draw, okay? And which, which translate into the dealer's mind is, hey, retrofits, why not? Especially on a fire control panel. 
There is no extra power supply needed at that point. If I can attach this thing to my control panel and I don't have to add additional parts to it, why not? It is very low current drawing. It draws 70 milliamps of power on a standby. When it transmits on alarm for about a quarter of a second, you're looking at about 180 to 200 milliamps of power. That translates to almost nothing to some of the security systems or the fire control panels out there. Okay, there's no need for labor intensive extra conduits to run extra power supplies or any additional hardware. Saves you some money, especially when it comes down to these commercial applications where you have to put in a fire radio, life safety, code compliances, all that stuff. Saving money, make the money, put it in your pocket. You can cut down on complete unnecessary equipment that you don't need. If it is panel powered, you don't need to worry about having an additional power supply or a backup battery or plugging a transformer or a cage to secure your transformer, okay? There is no proximity regulations within the fire, typically your communicators that be within 20 feet of your control panel. You're good to go, you're right into your control panel. So, and again, this will all translate to the dealer as saving you money, saving you cost, and again, keeping you in the game and keeping the return revenue where it belongs, okay? Keeping the customer happy and saving the money is the goal. You can generate large opportunities from incremental RMRs when replacing all the POTS line. Again, whether it be fire or security, it's big. When it comes down to fires, even more. Life safety, everybody's got to have it fire alarm panel and commercial applications. Think about it. And this is really cool because now we're taking the money from the big mobile companies, you know, old copper lines, we put it in your pocket. We're transferring all that wealth from one side to the other. It's about time. Back in the days, and again, I've been doing this for 37 years now. Back in the days when the alarm didn't work, the phone company played the alarm, or you know, when the customer's phone didn't work, the phone company blamed the alarm company. And when the alarm didn't work, we blamed the phone company. Well, we don't need to play that game anymore. We're in control. As a dealer, you're in control. You're in control of your communication between your alarm panel and your central station. And guess what? You're in control of how much money you're going to put in that pocket as well. And if you're going to keep that customer or not. And again, today, if you install one of the Starlink radios, you're guaranteed that you will keep that customer. Why? Because their communication is gonna be secure. You'll know it's gonna go through. How do we transfer all that wealth? Well, we did the formula. We, we used basic numbers pretty much, especially when it comes down to fire. Most fire control panels out there require two box line to communicate. An average pot line today costs about 75 bucks so that would translate to about $1,800 a year. That's what your customer had to pay. They have to provide you with POTS line at that premise for their fire communication. Okay, so a soul path radio communicator is gonna cost your customer, and again, this is on the low end, $60 a month. Think about that. A soul path cellular communicator can cover two POTS line and saving the customer $720 a year, almost $1,100 of saving to your customer. That is not bad. When you show that to your customers, they'll understand. And guess where the money is going now? Into your pocket. That additional money that the customer is saving, you're charging them for it because it's not costing you, the dealer, $60 a month to supply that service for the customer, okay? So that's where you make money. So it's a win-win for the customer, win-win for you as well. Because think about it, if your customer's got 500 locations out there, it's $360,000 in 12 months. If the savings are almost $1,100 a month, that's a lot of money. Why would we want to let go of it? Why can't we just keep that and maintain that? And again, cellular is here to stay. LTE is here to stay. The profits are in it, and the way to communicate is the future way to do this, and you're in control. You're in charge of your communication. 
It is on a reliable cell reporting network choice, that is AT&T and Verizon. Verizon pretty much wrote the book on cellular security. A few years in a row, they were the number one, okay? They provide the largest coverage footprint across the country today. If you're looking at Verizon, I would say for every 10 Verizon radios we sell, we probably sell maybe three or four AT&T radios. And as you can see from this picture right here, the coverage map of Verizon across the nation versus the coverage map across the country by AT&T. The advantages that we have through AT&T as well, that I don't think it was mentioned in here, is they allowed us to cross the northern border of the US. And I know I deal with these dealers, I talk to them, I've done training for them, and I got a few of them across the northern border. And they do utilize our um, Starlink radio, the Connect radio, as well as the Intrusion radio as well. Uh, fire is not allowed in Canada yet, but we're working on that. Uh, there's different rules and regulations up there than there is in the US. But the connected radio, imagine, uh, north of the border, that's DSC country. The volume, the dealers they do, it's incredible. And it's been very successful for us. And again, AT&T allowed us to do that. Uh, utilizing Verizon, been dealing with a dealer in Guam, Hawaii. Um, and the opportunities are there, and they do work. From Alaska all the way down to the Keys, nationwide coverage on at and I don't want to sound like a uh, commercial for Verizon on at and but we know we have the coverage, and if we don't, we'll work a solution for it. Now, we do have the tools to test to see if you have actual coverage on Verizon or at and and if you need additional devices to improve your signals, we're going to talk about that as well. It is the easiest communicator to install. Wow, I'm going through this pretty fast. We're at number six on the top 10 reasons to why the new dealer's choice of Starlink radios are, okay? It is the easiest communicator to install. The only communicator actually on the market that I know of is pre-activated. And people go like, what? It is pre-activated. So my Starlink radio on the shelf and the distributor today is actually activated. If it's an AT&T or if it's a Verizon, it sits on the shelf, it is on the network, waiting for you to actually pick it up, take it to the job site, and power it up so you can communicate to the network so you can see if it's going to work or not way before you select the service plan. Okay, saving you a lot of labor, a lot of headache. You don't need to call the carrier. You're in charge of your destiny on these radios. Okay, so you take it out, you buy it from a distributor, you go to the job site, you take a 12 volt battery, apply the power to it, give it two minutes, and that unit is gonna find a cell tower. If it is not, it's gonna let you know within two minutes as well. Saving you a lot of money, a lot of time. Hey, do I need to activate the unit to know if it's gonna work or not? Who thought of that? Well, we didn't wanna do that. We wanted these units to be pre-commissioned, pre-provisioned, we call it whether it be an AT&T or Verizon, so that way when the dealer takes it out to the job site, tower it up, the unit is gonna look for a tower. I always tell dealers, hey, make sure the antennas on these units are connected, tower it up, allow it two minutes to communicate, and then you should be able to see a signal strength on that radio. Okay. At that point, if you wanna activate a service plan, you could do so. You need to be a dealer registered on our website. You can go in there and select your service plan, then you can start paying for the unit. It doesn't make sense for it to pay for it way before you know it's going to work or not. And most dealers today, they believe and they trust in the communications that we have built on the Starlink radio. They, they know by heart it's going to work and they'll buy it. They'll take it off the shelf. They activate a service plan on it and they give it to the technician. When the technician gets to the job site, he hooks it up and the unit is done. It works. And again, the bottom line, we're trying to save time and labor, the most expensive thing on the job, labor, okay? So that's where it is, and that's where the dealer is making the money. It is a better LTE performance, which is unique to NAPCO with the dual antennas that has signal boost technology built in. 
the diversity of the dual antennas. It's amazing. When we started testing the LTE way back then, again, where be, way before LTE became mandatory, we tested it, we realized LTE was designed with the consumer in mind to conserve battery life on their smartphones. Well, this is not a smartphone, this is a communicator. We don't care about conserving the battery life on this unit. We want it to communicate. That's what we want, right? So the dual antennas came in a big play. You know, we, we met up with the carriers. We discussed things with the carriers. We decided, hey, two antennas are better than one. They agreed with us. And why is that? One antenna now on this unit, on all of our LTE radios, is a send and receive antenna. It's, it's in constant communication with the cell tower. Your second antenna, the right-hand antenna, is a receive, dedicated receive antenna. It also helps in the outbound communication of your alarm signals. So therefore, both of these antennas need to be on the unit. Both of them need to be installed on the unit. They both have the signal boost technology built in them. So these are not just like, you know, uh, paddles or spatulas or, you know, Mickey Mouse ears antennas. They got technology built right into the antennas to improve your signal, avoid dropouts, okay, uh, versus a single antenna that might drop out or might have signal flashes in it. With the dual antenna, we figured out one of them will stay connected to the tower and or the other one will aid and also as a stabilizer. And again, mainly LTE was to conserve battery life on the consumer's smartphones. It'll only look for a towel when you open it up and when you start your search, therefore saving you a battery life on your smartphone. With these units, they're connected to your fire control panel or to your security system. There's no need to worry about battery life setup. We want to connect and we want to stay connected. A tower will drop out, the unit will let you know, and it will search for another tower. And most of the time, it will connect to another tower and you won't even know it as well. But the dual antenna technology has been very successful. We were, we were the first to come out with it. And I believe there's other companies today that are following suit when it comes down to LTE communication. They realize how good it is to be able to connect and stay connected to the tower. It is a proven reliability, glass leaving technology, over the air upgrade. Imagine that, I don't have to drive to the job site to upgrade a firmware on the radio, okay? I can remotely upgrade the firmware through the airwaves. Now mind you, if it's a fire communicator, we have the exception there, because you know, UL and FPA says you cannot do any updates or firmware updates or communication updates on any fire control panel remotely unless you're on the job site. Do we comply? Absolutely. So if you're on the job site and there's a firmware update needed for your Starlink radio, simply remove a jumper off of the unit and we can flash that remotely. Okay? We can get you to the latest firmware. The carriers are constantly doing updates onto their network. The more updates they do, the more updates we have to comply with, the more updates we have listed. So here's a prime example. Let's say you're in the Midwest and you know all of a sudden we're having an issue with your Starlink radio. You get notified immediately. You call our tech support, which is by the way here in New York. And then the first thing they will look is at the firmware inside the unit and they can parallel across that check with the carrier within your area or within your market to see if there's been an update on your networks over there. Every time they do an update, we have to comply and do our update on our end. We store it on our server, and if there is, we'll flash the unit for you. We don't automatically update firmware across the country on all the units because what happens is in the Midwest does not apply to what happened on the East Coast or the West Coast or down South. So it's by market. Updates are done by market. So therefore we only flash the units when we need it to, when, there is it, when, when is it being affected by the network update. And every time the Starlink Radio communicates to your central station through our network operation center, which we call the NOT, it actually pulls the signal strength with it and also pulls the firmware inside the unit. So you're always up to date 
on what type of firmware in your unit and how well your unit is actually working in the field, you'll be able to see your signal strength, along with other things like the alarm that came in, what type of signal that went in, whether you're communicating IP or you're communicating over digital phone lines, how many attempts it tried, if your central station received it or not. It's really, truly a powerful communicator to your central station. And again, the bottom line, if we could do this remotely, we're gonna save you labor. No need to roll a truck. That's where the money is. Remotely done. It will easily retrofit almost 17 million security alarm control panels. I touched on it earlier, okay? Uh, for reporting, for remote access, virtual keypad applications, uh, smart app applications, uh, you'll be able to get notifications. Somebody left the back door open in my business for more than a minute. Well, is there like money leaving out the back door? I would like to know. This unit right here is a born as a dual path communicator. So it's got dual path communications on it, IP and cell. You got unlimited notifications with their service plan to the end user, unlimited text, unlimited emails, unlimited number of reports you can make out of the unit as well. Okay. Now, if you want to install it in UL applications, it does come in a metal cabinet to conform with UL applications as well in your businesses, or maybe in a jewelry store, or maybe in a bank application, where they would want that those, those notifications or those features as well. It all runs on a free app that you can download from our um, for your smartphone. It's called the iBridge Connected Home app. It is on Android and Apple as well. And again, it will allow you to get SMS messages, text, a lot. also it will allow you to integrate with our wireless Wi-Fi, iBridge video cameras as well. So if you got an alarm, you might get a video as well, or you can program it to get video with any alarm. You got a hold up, you got a picture with it, or you got a video with it, or you got a break in, same thing. You get notifications. Or if you strictly want to use the notifications to monitor things, you know, uh, you know, someone has get out of get out of bed or taking medications or when the kids come home, uh, all kinds of stuff. It is unlimited with one flat monthly service fee from NAPCO. And remember, if you activate the unit, typically it will cost about $140. You activate it, you'll get $100 rebate towards that unit. And that will cover that your monthly service fee for at least 12 months. Because the monthly service fees on these units are start at $7 a month. Okay. Also, you can upgrade it to a Z-Wave model. Same unit. The additional services we'll get to you from Z-Wave, you'll be able to control up to 232 Z-Wave devices. And again, it doesn't matter if it's an APCO panel, a DSC Power Series panel, or a Honeywell Vista alarm panels. You're still going to get the app. You'll still be able to get the notification. You'll still be able to remotely arm and disarm. And you'll still be able to upload and download utilizing their native software, your DLS, your Compass, or your Quick Loader software. As fast as you're standing in front of the unit, most dealers tell me, oh my God, you're stalling radio, uploading and downloading my Vista panel is a lot faster than my modem. <laughs> Today, anything is a lot faster than a modem. I can understand that, but majority of the, the people I talk to as well, I've had issues uploading and downloading through other cellular units besides the Starlink radio. And when they tried ours, they were amazed on how quick and how fast and how secure it is. And I'm not just saying that because I work for NAPCO or I do training on this. I've done it myself, all right? Uh, my neighbor, he's got a Vista piano. And guess what he's got on it? The Starlink Connect radio. Uploading and downloading, the dealer loves it. It just so happened a dealer is a friend of mine and I talked him into it and he was like, I didn't know uh, why you're not using this. So I'm gonna start using this. Uh, my neighbor loves the app. It was a lot more uh, reliable, a lot more responsive and faster than the original app and the original cellular unit that they had on the unit, on his alarm system. So take it from me because I've seen it, I've used it 
and it works. Z-Wave devices to us, a Z-Wave is a Z-Wave device. 232 of them, as many as you would want. Now, if you got a job that you want to do 232 Z-Wave devices in it, I would say, God bless you, <laughs> okay? Most of the jobs, the most I've seen, is a little over 100 than most of us today. What we're looking for is to control the thermostat, maybe control the garage door, maybe control some lights outside, okay? Thermostats, garage door, lights, and the door lock, those are the most popular. And I've never seen a job where it has 10 door locks or you know, a 10 thermostats. Uh, lights, you can have as many as you want. You can group them as well. You can create scenes on Z-Wave devices, you know, and you can activate those scenes on the alarm or when you pull in or when you unlock the alarm or you unlock the door, disarm the system, the lights will come on, the thermostat will adjust. And you can also get notifications off of these features as well. Somebody messes with the thermostat, they'll send you a text message. Imagine how much money you can save in a business if you're doing this in a small business application. You know, arming the system remotely, turning the lights off remotely, adjusting your thermostat, monitoring your freezer or your cooler, not to mention monitoring the back door of your business or your establishment. Or if you do add the video aspects of it to be able to watch your staff at the staffing level, who comes in and who goes, if every city, if everyone is secure or not. You stay in touch. It's like being in two places at once. That's what it is. You know, you're staying in touch. You know what's going on. And at the end of the day, it's going to save you labor and money as well. And that's what we're looking for. Without having to send a truck, without having to leave, you stay in the comfort of your home. We touch on it a little bit, but compliances really is what we are all about. There is no way that we're gonna produce such a wonderful product and reliable product without being in compliance with every single code there is. NAPCO has been doing this now for 51 years in the industry. And when it comes down to uh, being in compliance, uh, we're like on top of the list. We're up front. NFPA 72, okay? Any NFPA service plan that you're required for your fire communication whether it be uh, all the way back to 2007 or to the 2019 platform. 60 minutes to 200 seconds. Imagine your Starlink radio checking in every 200 seconds. Back in the days, we called that direct connect. Back in the POTS days, you know, uh, McCullough Loop or direct connect, ticky ticky, buzzy buzzy days. Well, today it's all on the cellular. That cellular unit is constantly chattering between your fire panel and certain parts of the country I've seen where they require that. And that's an expensive service plan. But as expensive it is, it's still a lot less money than the existing POTS line, if they do exist. You know, your service plan on the 2007 check-in every 200 seconds is $26 a month. I've never seen a POTS line that costs $26 a month, really. Okay, think about it. But again, the reliability of the communication, the supervision of the path. You are listed 864 10th edition, and as well as 1610, 985, it comes down to household, verb alarm, fires. We are CFM approved by the California State Fire Marshals, as well as New York City Fire Department and LAFD. The county is following the city as well. Out west. So if they're not, they will be pretty soon. We're listed across the nation with any service plan that you're required from 200 seconds all the way up to six hours. Where does the six, hour, six hours comes in is when you're doing a dual path communication. You have a Starlink radio that has IP on it and cell. At that point, you're doing six hour check-ins. Three hours, you check in on the IP, and three hours later, you check in on the cell. It alternates every three hours. And if the central station or the NOC does not see the unit within that period of time, you get notified, your central station gets notified, somebody knows that there's a problem. Versus having to wait 24 hours later to find out when the pot lines, when the pot lines go down, and there's no communication on the fire alarm control path. Now, for more 
technical information. I do a lot of technical training for NAPCO. It is listed on our website, and I go into more detail on programming and operations and all the inputs and outputs on the radios. Um, it's more technical than it is sales, not that I do sales. Sounds like I've been a sales driver here today, but I'm doing great. <laughs> now, as a dealer, we can help you sell this to your customer. We do offer a lot of marketing material that is listed on our website as well that you can send to your customer to educate them about cellular communication, the future of their communication on their alarm panel, fire alarm panel, especially in the fire life safety communication is really big. We do offer these publications for free. If you look them up on our job site, there's a part number in the back of each of those brochures, whether it be a, a trifold like this, where you can put it in the, in the bill at the end of the day, mail, mail stuffers, we call them, or you can hand them out to your reps or your installers to leave them somewhere um, to help you sell uh, the communicators, to help you convert your customers or keep your customers um, from losing communication and from losing their recurring revenue to go somewhere else. You want to keep them. So again, you can ask, we'll ship them to you at no cost. And again, there's a list of them on our website. If you go to napcosecurity.com and you click on resources, the marketing library is loaded with them. And if you find something you like within that marketing library, um, you can reach out to our customer service, which also listed on that website, and they'll be able to ship that out to you with no problem. Now, if you're already established and you're using our Starlink radios, you probably know about this. We do have a signal strength tester tool. A lot of people wanted to do that because they got a lot of uh, sales reps, they got a, a team of employees out there. They want to test to know that they got good signals before they sell the unit. Remember, I mean, if you sell it and you don't get good signals, and I feel really bad because this thing should really work, well, this will allow you to know way in advance, okay? Um, most dealers will tell me, look, I go off my cell phone. I got signal on my cell phone. I sell the unit. Yeah, that's a good guide, but it's not 100%, you know, because we're completely on a different frequency here. But you can use a tester. Okay, this, this, this thing comes in with a battery pack attached to it. It's rechargeable as well. It does come with a plug-in AC adapter. It's a USB adapter that plugs right in there. It does have a pre-activated SIM card in it as well. So when you get to the job site, you simply flip the switch on. You can look at a bunch of LEDs on the front. Uh, red LED in the middle of the eye is going to start to, uh, it will light up solid. And I will blink a few times and it'll go out. When it goes out, you can look at your LEDs down on the bottom right. That's going to tell you your signal strength. All right. Your yellow LED is going to tell you when it finds a tower. Your green LED is going to tell you how good your signal is. You need to have at least two green blinks. And not to worry about this green LED right here. It's not going to blink. That's your power that the inner is powered up. But this green LED in the center right here is going to start to flash to let you know how good your signal strength is. At a minimum, you need two of them. Does it work on one? Absolutely. Would I trust it? Eh, not really, okay? Is it gonna pass inspection? I wouldn't think so. Is it gonna create a problem? Most likely. But again, is it gonna work? Yeah, yeah it will work. But is it 100%? Not really. We need to be at 100%. And to be at 100%, we do offer this universal extended range antenna. We built this as a universal tool as well. We want you to use it on our equipment, obviously, but it is universal. It can work with all the cellular radios, you know? Um, you know, if your favorite was to be somebody else's radio and you're having a hard time with their communications on their radio, my suggestion will be is to switch to Starling, or if you don't want to, you can try one of those extended antennas on these radios as well. And you really keep your fingers crossed that the unit will like it and your communications are gonna go through. Now, Starlink is always the solution. All right, each one of those units, and again, I'm, I don't mean to sound biased here, but each one of these uh, antennas do come with a complete package of hardware that will allow you to connect to other uh, units out there in the market if you want to use it on them. It'll also allow you to gain 
up to four, between four and nine dB signal strength on each of the radios. They're made with an outstanding low VSWR. And somebody walked one day, I was teaching this class, goes, what is VSWR mean? Well, it is the voltage standing wave ratio. And that's the signal transmission. That's the power of the signal transmission through your cable. The lower the number, the, the better it is. We do have them in 30, 50, 75, and 100. The numbers on these things vary between 0 0.00321 to 0, 0.00 something else. You know, it's so my, minute that I can't even think about it. Um, they, are, they are made with an LMR cable, coax cable at 300 and 400, top of the line in the industry for low loss signals on this. And again, buy what you need. If you need a 30 footer, buy a 30. Don't buy a 15, cut it. You can't cut it, you can't modify it. If you need a 20, buy the 30. Don't buy the 50 because you coil it up, you defeat the purpose as well, okay? They also do come with a ground fault isolation plate. So if you are installing this outside or on the building or on a metal bracket, you can use the isolation bracket plate that comes with it. U-bolts, if you want to put it on a pole somewhere as well. It is marine grade antenna with a bunch of electronics in the middle of that antenna. And again, very powerful. It's got the signal boost technology built right into it as well. And again, just the fact that it will improve your signal strength anywhere between four to nine dB is amazing. We're almost done. Not, not to forget, NAPCO's reputation. We don't have any repair departments at NAPCO headquarters. We offer a three-year warranty, no questions asked. Every unit we ship out of the factory, as I mentioned, it has a born date on it. And it is also in the paperwork indicated 36 months from the manufacturing date. Open your unit up, look at the date, make sure it is. What it is, like you buy something today, we're in October, the date on it should be December. We allow up to 30 to 90 days sometimes, 30 to 60 days sometimes, transportations and logistics, shelf life, travel, three-year warranty from that date when you open it up. You drive over it, you break it, it doesn't function, we'll give you a new one, you take it back to your distributor, then exchange it based on that date. And we're the only one in this industry that do that today. So reliability, product, um, no doubt about it. We test every product before we ship it. We don't do lot testing. It's each unit tested individually. Hopefully this was very helpful and educational for everybody. If you need any more information and you need to reach us, please do not hesitate. Here's the phone number, here's the website. I thank you so much for your time. Jillian, if you're still there, and if we have any questions, I can take the questions, and maybe you can answer. You're muted, by the way. Yes, hi, Z. All right, everybody, if you can jump into the Q&A portion of your control panel to ask any questions that you might have. I want to be cognizant of everybody's time, so I'm going to just pick a couple of these here, and then we can work with anybody who has additional. Um, I'm not sure if you'll know this one, Z, but will AT&T work in Canada? We have some Canadian yeah. integrators on the call. And the answer was yes. And I mentioned that in the presentation. Our advantage part of AT&T is that we were able to connect across the northern border of the U.S. And I have a lot of dealers in Canada that uses our Starlink creatives. Perfect. Um, what format does Starlink communicate in? Starlink radio works off of capture communication on the alarm panel. As long as the alarm panel communicates contact ID or 42 format, Starlink radio is happy. We retransmit from our NOC to your central station over regular digital receivers or over IP. Your choice. Can I use any central station? Any central station in the world, I would say you can use yes. And again, your choice of communication to that central station would be 
they provide you with an 800 number for your digital receiver so you can communicate over digital receivers or you can go over ip as long as that central station has an an ip receiver by sure god system two three four or five or a bosch ip receivers you'll be able to communicate to that it looks like those are all the questions we have at this point um, again, this session was being recorded and we will send you an email tomorrow uh, with a link to this recording in case you want to rewatch it or share it with colleagues. I want to thank uh, Ziad for the uh, very um, interesting and uh, knowledgeable information that you shared with us today. I also want to thank NAPCO. There are a lot of manufacturers and distributors in the industry, uh, but there are select few that invest back into our industry and to the development of pro security dealers like yourself. And NAPCO is one of those companies. They are an ESA strategic partner uh, in 2020. So thank you, NAPCO, and thank you, Z, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Jillian. You too. Be safe, everyone. I appreciate your time. I didn't think it was going to be a full hour, but we did it. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.